Hey everyone, it's me, Fashion Tamer, the tame one, bringing you guys a very special video. It's actually a video that's usually pretty popular uh, on YouTube, and I did it on my first channel, and I, I realized that I haven't done it on this channel, so I feel like I need to properly go on and not knock this out. But it's the what's in my bag video. And yes, you guys, I am going to show you my my new baby that that uh, that made it to the family. All of her siblings are over there, especially her little sister over there. Uh, it is it's it's <sighs> these are the moments that I just get really proud of myself. And it's one of those moments that, yes, I do deserve it. And um, we're not going to talk about price. We're not going to talk about costs. We're not going to talk about any of those things. Um, I just strongly feel that as a woman, every woman should have at least one designer handbag. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. There are many ways to cop a designer handbag. Uh, whether you get it off a uh, rebag trade c or um what's another macari macari is a good one um but all i all, all i will say is i think that every woman should at least have one designer handbag um it's 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 i just feel like it's just a woman's right if you give birth you work hard you take care of your bills you make sure you keep yourself up you keep yourself nice there's nothing wrong with splurging on yourself with one good purchase <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say with one good purchase um so here it is my baby it is my speedy 40 uh from my louis vuitton uh i've always been really really into louis vuittons ever since I was 18. I don't know what it is. It's just, it was just one of those brands. Like everybody had like Gucci, Prada, like the, all of those brands are perfect and everything, but it was always something about Louis Vuitton that just spoke to me. And, um, I'm a thrifty buyer and I'm also a big splurger also when I want to be. And this was my big ticket item for myself, my baby. And like I said, she was, uh, she was worth it. Believe it or not, um, I did not go to the Louis Vuitton store to get this bag. I actually got mine, which is why I mentioned those other places. My first one, I got at the Louis Vuitton store. I was 18. I paid for it with my own money. And around that time, a Speedy 35 was about, I believe, like $8.50. And so the Speedy 40 is up there in the thousands. And I was like, you know what? I have the money. I can spend it. But you know what? We're going to do something different. We're going to go on Macari. And I did. I searched. Um, I all, Anytime that you're going on Macari, make sure you look for the authenticated uh, symbol to let you know that you are getting a legit, real Louis Vuitton. And like I said, since I own a few Louis Vuittons, I know what's real, what's not, what to look for, ask questions, have them send you extra pictures of everything. And yes, so my bag does check out. It is 100% real. And like I said, this bag retails normally for almost close to 2000 And I got mine for uh, three, 360 I believe so. Uh, yeah. And that's only because the part, like, it's miss, it's missing a, the, uh, the lock on there. That's the only thing that it's missing. Other than that, and, oh, it had a spot on there. Other than that, it's beautifully done. It's perfect. Uh, but yeah, so, this is what a speedy bag looks like. Like I said, this is the 40. This is the largest. After this, it become it starts going into the uh, kip all bag, which are basically like the duffel bags. So it's the largest handbag, well wrist bag. I'm gonna say wrist bag that they have. Uh, they do have minis. They go from mini, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So I have a speedy 35 already. This is the 40, and then I put on my cute little balls on there to let it be known that this is my baby. So yes, uh, let's get started of what's in this uh, 
contraption that I have. So with it being quarantine and all this and, you know, Corona's going on, there are a lot of things that would normally be in my bag, but it's in my bag now. So starting off, I keep a pen and it's a cute little diamond pen. I don't know. I feel like you got to have, as a woman, you got to keep a little sparkle with you wherever you go. Even if you feel dull, keep some sparkle with you. Um, what else? Uh, I keep my hair affinity vitamins. I have one at the house and then I have one that I take with me just in case if I'm out somewhere and after I eat, cause you're supposed to take these twice a day. And if I don't take it in the morning, I usually take mine, um, uh, basically like after I eat in the afternoon and then try to get, get one, get another one in at night, but I keep my hair affinities. I start taking my prime my prim rose oil these are the 1000 milligrams uh it's basically for women's health now we will go in more into women's health later on but i'm telling you right now if you are someone that bloats really bad and you have horrible horrible cramps start taking these and you will not have a problem i just had a period a few weeks ago well a few days ago actually and literally that had to be the best period that i've ever had i can't believe i even said that but this had to be with these this made it the best period that i've ever had in my life um i have this cute little baggie and in the baggie i keep my phone charger so i have an iphone i have an iphone um uh, 11 pro max and any person that has an iPhone knows that you have to keep a charger on you. I don't care where you at, where you are, whether you keep it in the car, in your purse, whatever. So this is actually the one that stays in my purse only. I don't take it out anywhere. It stays in my bag. So wherever I go, I know for a fact that there's a charger with me. Um, I have some press-ons. I was supposed to do my nails a couple days ago. I might do them tomorrow. I don't know. But yeah, I got some press-ons. I have a Kroger's card that I actually need to fill out so I can start getting my discounts. I have some car. I have some Carmax. Matter of fact, put this on the rusty dusties right now. Am I the only person that has big lips that do this? Like, you try to fit your whole lips in there? All right, never moisturized. All right, what else we got in here? Um, I have a binky. Uh, judge me not, and I know I'm not the only person. No, I know I'm. I know for a fact I'm not, so I'm not even worried about that disclaimer. I have a four year old that we are weaning off of the binky, which is basically her security blanket. And I've been getting a lot of flack about it. Like, why is she still on a binky? Well, she's my kid. Okay, like, let me be great. Let me be a great mom. Okay, my kid's not cussing out people. She just has a binky. and Leave her alone. So, uh, we're trying to get her off the binky, but I do keep one as a safety. You know, as moments where it's like, if it's raining outside, she's scared. I usually keep one on me just to have it. Um, I have an inhaler for me and my, my four-year-old. Because we are asthmatics over here. Um, I have a MYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper. And I believe this is the, this is the 07. This one's called Elizabeth. I have tons of those. I keep that in almost every bag. This is my little, uh, this is my wallet for right now that I keep in there until I get a Louis Vuitton wallet. So this is what I keep in there for my wallet right now. Uh, I have my AirPods. I keep Zyrtec. It is that season. And honey, I keep Zyrtec in the house and I keep Zyrtec on me in my purse. So I got the full box right here. Um, I have a SoCal. What is that? I have a SoCal um, perfume from Hollister. And this stuff, this is actually one of my favorite scents. I actually bought two of these. I need to go get another one. But this this smells so good it actually reminds me of walking into the store and everybody knows i hate shopping in a hollister i have trash um i have a black mask 
that this is what I wear to work. So actually I have to wash it. So yes, this is the mask that I wear when I go to work or when I go out in public. Like I said, this is so weird because I would have never thought the day that I would be walking around with a mask in my purse. Um, I have a C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve for your lips. These... First of all, I love the smell, but if you want some moisture, moisturizing something, this right here, I usually would get mine at Bath and Body Works, but Bath and Body Works always sells out. So I said F it and I started getting mine on Amazon and they have it where you could buy a two pack. I keep one in my house and one in my purse. I need to put a makeup bag in here. That's what I need. Um, I have these really cute shades and I got these shades actually on eBay. I think they were $9.99, I think. Um, let's see. I have a e.l.f. retractable kabuki brush along with my MAC powder. Because usually I learned, I learned a long time ago, like after like I started doing my makeup really, really well, I learned that sometimes I don't need a full makeup bag with me in my purse because I know how to do it to where it'll last me eight hours with no issue. Now, it's moments that I might have to touch it up. So I'll just take my powder with me and a lip gloss. Uh, I have a NYX pencil in the shade Nude Truffle. And this is actually a NYX filler instinct lip gloss. It's actually a lip plumper. So fun fact. So some people don't know that they actually discontinued these to make these. But in some cases you can still find these. So if you could find these, still get it. But if you, but these and this are actually the same thing. It's just, they start putting like, instead of making it where it has like a new tint or anything like that, they made these where they have like a little shimmer to it. So it's actually pretty cool. So this mix with a lip pencil comes out to be the cutest nude and it plumps up your lips so pretty. Um, what else do we have in here? I do have the medical mask in here just in case I forget my black one so I keep that in there um I have this thing I keep deodorant yes I have this thing that I don't like being musty like I it is a fear it's not a fear but it's a phobia I'm gonna say it's a full-fledged phobia because I have to have deodorant in my purse whether it's spray kind or the kind that you just actually roll I don't care I have to have deodorant because if I'm moving around and I get a whiff of me and I feel like it smells like must, oh no, I freak out. I will go get a wet wipe, wipe under my arms and go apply my deodorant right there and then. It is not a game. I don't care if I even, I, if I just put deodorant on, I just have to make sure that my, like I'm good, like I'm good. Like it's that crucial, you guys. I don't think y'all get it. Uh, I have a receipt from Kroger's. What is this for? I think it's for, ooh, I think it's for uh, coffee creamers. When does this expire? <gasps> ooh, I'm keeping that. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a coffee drinker, and I be need my coffee creamers because I can tell you right now, I am not friendly if I do not have caffeine in my body. Uh, I keep a cocoa pie. Uh, if you are in the Asian community, you already know what cocoa pies are. And to the regular, regular people of the U.S. of A., it's a marshmallow pie. I'm a person. I'm a fat girl at heart. I don't care how many diets I go on. I don't care how many times I stop eating and to lose some weight. I'm still a fat girl at heart. So sometimes fat girls need her snacks. And I usually keep either a cocoa pie. Something. It's going to be something edible that's in my purse some kind of way. Whether it's candy, anything. It's, it's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. And then I also have my cranberry soft chews. Which I need to take one today. Uh... It's basically for your urinary tract health. Also, good little hint, this is for the grown people out there that are uh, the grown women out there. Uh, if you start intaking anything with cranberry, usually they say pineapples, it's not true. Uh, if you do anything with cranberry, whether you take the soft chews or you actually take the supplements or even drink cranberry juice, like actual cranberry juice, not cocktail. If you drink cranberry juice, it flushes your system really really well it makes your vagina smell impeccable 
And I don't know per se, cause I'm a good girl, but it's supposed to make your vagina taste better or sweeter. I don't know. That's what I've been told. But all I know is I just been taking my chews like I was supposed to. Yeah. Anywho. So yeah, I think that's, oh, and then that's the paperwork that I got to do for my Kroger's thing. Now, also, so that's basically everything that was, everything that was in the actual bag. So let me show you guys what do I do to keep the shape of it. So I have these things and my other one has it too. Oh, I had extra, extra mask at the bottom of this. Oh, look at that. Extra mask. So this is what, when you get, when you get a speed, it's just hollow. It's just a big bag and it's just hollow. And so sometimes over the years, especially when you, uh, when you have one for years, it will start to droop. And to me, I don't like that droopy look. I like to keep the shape of it. So they have inserts that you can get. I got mine from Amazon and this was a large. So if any one of y'all have a speedy and you want to get the insert, I will leave the link below of, uh, of where I got mine. And like I said, this is the large. Uh, I got mine in tan. And all you do is literally just fold it. Like so. You fold it. Put it in there. And it has so many compartments in there. It helps out with, you know, organizing your bag also. And then it helps keep your shape of your purse. So that way, all that money you just spent, it will definitely not go to waste. So that's my my cute little video on the what's in my bag well this is what's in my bag that i'm recently carrying um like i said i'm not here to show boat about what i bought myself or anything like that uh i just felt the need to t show you guys this is what i keep in my bag uh around corona and then also it's a fun little video and also i mean i'm a sucker i will watch a what's in my bag and i don't even care where the bag came from but it just so happened that you know Yes, mine is a designer bag, and I honestly, I don't feel bad for having one. I feel like everybody should have one, and if if you don't, then that's okay, too. Uh, but if this video was informative and to you guys like it and highly entertaining, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell at the top to be notified when I, Fashion Tamer, the tame one, drops another video. And until we meet again, my, my tame raiders, bye!